Hey everyone, Alex from O'Brien here. The most common reason we need to halt production on a case is a lack of adequate occlusal clearance. And in this video, I'm going to show you some tools that can be used chairside to measure the clearance when doing your crown prep. The first tool is the Flex Tab, which is a single use product made of a flexible rubbery material. After the tooth has been prepped, the tab is placed on the prep, and then with the patient biting down, the tab is pulled through. If the tab resists the pull, then there's most likely an area of the prep that does not meet the clearance requirements. Next is Prep Check, which is also a single-use product and is very similar to Flex Tab, but with a coating on one half that works like articulating tape. After the tooth has been prepped, the coated side of the tab is placed on the prep and the patient taps or grinds their teeth onto that coating. The Prep Check is removed from the mouth and the prep is evaluated for any areas that show markings from the Prep Check coating. Any high areas of the prep are reduced, and when finished, the uncoated end of the prep check is placed onto the patient's prep. The patient bites down and the tab is pulled through, and if the tab resists the pull, there may still be some areas that need to be reduced further. There's also a mini version of prep check available, which may work better for smaller teeth. And finally, there's the prep sure, which is the only tool that is autoclavable for multiple uses. With the prep sure, you start with the patient closed and then insert the tool to measure the space. There are two ends to the tool, one that's used for checking the mesial portion of the prep and the other for the distal portion. So starting with the mesial end, place it on the outside of the mesial buccal cusp and attempt to slide the tool up over the buccal cusp and into the central groove, then continue to slide it over the mesial lingual cusp. If an adequate amount of space has been created, the tool will easily slide up and over. You can then repeat the procedure on the distal side using the distal end of the tool. All of these tools come in three sizes to match the common thickness requirements of various restorative options. One millimeter is recommended for full cast gold, PFMs with metal occlusal, and full zirconia restorations. 1.5 millimeters is the minimum recommended reduction for ceramic crowns, and two millimeters is the optimal reduction for ceramic crowns. And it should be pointed out that all of these tools can be used to check interproximal clearance as well. I hope you found this video helpful, and as always, feel free to contact us with any questions. See you next time.